I sat all morning in the college sick bay, counting bells, knelling classes to a close. At two o'clock, our neighbours drove me home. In the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride, and Big Jim Evans said it was a hard blow. The baby cooed and laughed and rocked the pram. <coughs> when I came in and I was embarrassed by old men standing up to shake my hand and tell me they were sorry for my trouble. Whispers informed strangers I was the eldest away at school as my mother held my hand in hers and coughed out angry tearless sighs. At 10 o'clock the ambulance arrived with the corpse stanched and bandaged by the nurses. Next morning, I went up to into the room. Snowdrops and candles suited the bedside. I saw him for the first time in six weeks. Paler now, wearing a poppy bruise on his left temple, he lay in the four-foot box as in his cot. No gaudy scars, the bump on that can a four-foot box, a foot for every year.